Stacey and Dowd is here with us yes. from Gypsy Soup. How are you? I'm great. She how are you? She fought through that traffic and rain <laughs> just so she could be here and uh, show us how to do this yummy a cranberry glaze, it's right? It's an amazing cranberry glaze. I'm so glad to uh, and excited to learn how to make this. So what, what are you doing right now so to start? So we're boiling already our cranberries and our sugar. Where okay. There, there's that camera. Point to that camera right there. Okay. There you go. So there's a cranberry and sugar. And we get sugar. them all nice and boiled. Okay. And then the How long does that process usually take? Probably about three to five minutes. Okay. But when they begin to pop, yeah. you want to turn, it, turn down it down just a little bit so that it doesn't splatter all over yourself and your counter. Yeah, that could be hot yeah, and that's messy. Because as messy as the traffic trying to get through <laughs> cleaning up that. Good analogy there. Okay, so, so once just we get it to the right point. To boil and they're getting all pink and fuzzy like that. Yeah. All right, now that's where you want to begin to add your Some of these ingredients right. here. And you can choose from cinnamon or nutmeg or ginger. Okay. And just a little sprinkle of each will be perfect. Okay, so how much? Just a, just just a sprinkle, just till it so smells I just like dab. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So a dash no... of this, a dash of that. Level the of perfection here. The recipe actually calls for orange juice. Yeah. And I don't use the full amount because it's a little too zingy for me. Oh, My okay. My family doesn't like that zing. And tell me again, did you go through what these four are? I I'm... did a little okay. nutmeg. Okay. You did cinnamon, cinnamon first, here. you did ginger second, and then that one is cloves. Now okay, that will make it feel like almost oh, like yeah. Thanksgiving and okay. holidays yes, and absolutely. all that terrific Gotta stuff. Do the cloves, okay. And that one's nutmeg. Nutmeg right here. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then once they kind of begin to boil, this is going to thicken up like a candy or like a jam. Okay. And it only takes another three to five minutes. A little bit of orange zest doesn't hurt either. Mm. Now that part I don't mind throwing in there. Okay. So it can go without the orange juice if you don't want that, I Correct. guess, acidity in there? Correct. Okay. okay. I think it just kind of makes it zingy, you know? Yeah. And you want more sweet? Mm. I like more sweet. Sure, sure. In fact, this over a big scoop of ice cream, now oh. that's really sweet. Oh, oh my <laughs> that's goodness. That's the way you really want to sit. And do you have to keep stirring? I noticed you were really... A little bit, because you don't want or? it to stick on the bottom and turn, you know, all brown on the bottom sure. part. Because that'll change the flavor altogether. Sure, absolutely. And then it'll come out just like this. Look at that. And we could put it over. It'll stay really nice in, in the jar. fridge. You could have the kids bring it for teacher presents. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. So what is it good on? I see you have some. Well, I made cornbread last cornbread? night. Cornbread? Yeah, I wasn't too sure while I was watching the Mets Ooh. what I was going to do. But <laughs> <laughs> I needed to put a little something in the oven to keep my mind off the Mets. Uh, I, I, oh, it sounds like she was rooting for the Mets, John Carter. So, Mr. Carter, Mr. C, would you like a little cornbread yeah, with this come on cranberry over. glaze and see how amazing it can be? Mm, 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 mm. Well, I, mm. I'll, just a little I'll, taste. I'll force myself. Just a little something. taste. Thank you so much. Oh, this. And that's it. So Gypsy Soup Hands on Cooking Classes has a whole host of new um, series coming up, especially mm -hmm. for the kids. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we're doing some gingerbread decorating classes Fun. and some pies for the holidays. So if people want to get mm. connected to those classes, how do they? My find website, you? or you can connect through here. Okay, so check out our website, gypsysoup.com. Gypsysoup.com. All right, good stuff. Gosh, this was delicious. Oh, it's not so bad. Look at him mm. talking with his mouth full. Mm. <laughs> the royals would love this. <laughs> <laughs> would you make that for the royals? I would make would this for make the it? whole team. That's <laughs> We'll be back after this break. You're watching WBTV News this morning. This is the one.